Okay, so this one's about pie. So, now, Donnie's not that far from Wakey, innit? Has anybody here been to the Wakefield Pie Shop? A couple of people know how beautiful it is. Well, for those of you who haven't been, I'm sorry to have to do an advert, but I'm a poet, I've got to eat. This is about the Wakefield Pie Shop, all right? Fashion icons line the wall as punters patiently blink. There's a six-pound slogan, T-shirt, luminous green or neon pink. It's a drunken culinary kingdom. It's an existential sin. If you've never left at 4 a.m. with gravy on your chin. Bouncers awkwardly avert their eyes as they keep the peace in pairs. Yeah, you heard that right, folks. Two bouncers on the stairs. Because if there's only one steak pie left and the rest is vegetarian, we're heading for a performance, chaps, and it's going to be a scary and synthesised riffs from the galaxy above as drunken tiffs put pride before love in the restaurant room with the picnic benches no ladies and gents just wankers and wenches i tell you what i fancy love i'll have a bottle of bex from the fridge because you all might have stopped drinking but i'm from ebden bridge and yeah i will have gravy love have you got any bangers and mash oh wait wait two minutes like i need to get some cash you spent the evening delivering a sermon praising pie shop chips as you climb the stairs i saw the salivation on your lips you grasp for polystyrene tray that's fit to feed a horse and then go and bloody douse for things in fake tomato sauce and you might have pecks and tats and tans and haircuts from the navy but i've seen you sitting sheepishly with chips and cheese and gravy if you go to the pie shop and actively avoid the pie do not expect to meet me soon and look me in the eye you can go to the hep with all you want for your arty farty needs if you're really feeling cultured why not catch the train to leeds but if you want the jeweled crown in the wait for your westgate story it's for drunken culinary kingdom in all its gravy glutton glory cheers <laughs>